So at 18, I moved back to India. I think that was a big impetus. Um, and that was one to just explore my own identity and my own country because I'd never lived in India. And the second was this, this really strong um, sort of, I found that I loved being with kids a lot by that age. So the combination of those two things, I think that was really what got me to take the first step of going into the community and starting to teach and then that eventually becoming Akanksha and then later Teach for India. So, but I think that's where it started. I was 18 and just decided not to go back to the US, stay here um, and started working hands-on myself with a group of children. So I think the actual coming back, what happened was I had finished my first year of college in the US. Um, came back here, decided to stay in India, but then would spend all my free time in a particular community in Cuff Parade where I started teaching. So that's how it started. And then after about six months of working directly in the community, we decided that the children needed a place outside of the community to study. So that became the first sort of formal Akanksha center. Once we started the first center, we realized the replicability of that idea because um, it was a very simple idea. Kids want to be taught, there are volunteers who want to teach, there are spaces available, there's funding available, let's just bring them together. So that idea was very easy to replicate, so we replicated it up to about 60 um, Akanksha centers. And then 10 years down the line, um, decided to shift the model pretty dramatically from an after-school supplemental model to a full um, partnership with the government so we run now full schools for kids so that was sort of the Akanksha journey and then 17 years into that work um, a lot of the children had grown up gone to college um, made these incredible changes in their own lives and that's when a group of us went back to the drawing board and said if it's possible for a subset of kids, very small subset of kids, what is it going to take to do this at scale across a system? Um, and that led to the formation of Teach for India. 